is happening, Star Wars fans? Right, so today is a big day, ladies and gentlemen. We've got Pokemon Sword and Shield and Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. And obviously, with such a big day, something's got to go wrong. And... I'm sick. Proper sick, boys and girls. The man cold of doom is on full power right now. I don't even know how bad my voice is coming across on the camera, so... I apologise if I sound like crappy Optimus Prime. But all that rubbish aside, let's talk about the game, man, now. You've read the title. I'm not sugarcoating it. This is the best Star Wars game I've ever played, mate. I'm currently about six hours in, and... I'm so invested, man. It's, it's unreal. I'm loving every single thing right now. There, there's been nothing I've like, disliked so far. I've stayed like well away from everyone's videos, everyone's reviews. This is genuinely my impressions of the game. And I love it. There's going to be absolutely nothing spoiler related in this video, ladies and gentlemen. This is purely video clips from the trailer. And I just wanted to touch on a few things, so I'm gonna start with the actual story. And again, no spoilers whatsoever, you got my word on it. So this is set a few years after Revenge of the Sith, and the character you play as, his name's Cal, he's a former Jedi Padawan learner, and he's basically on the run, man. I mean, this is set after Revenge of the Sith, so it's not good to be a Jedi, so he is, he's on a construction site, he's proper low-key, and basically right at the start of the game he gets found out that he is a Jedi, and that gets the attention of the Empire, and thus our story begins. And that is everything I'm willing to say story-wise. I want you to go in proper, proper fresh. But like I said, I'm six hours in, and I am so invested, and it's an emotional story, mate. It's emotional, it's got heart and soul, it's very, very rich, and the characters, well, let's just talk about the characters right now. First of all, Cal himself, he is fantastic. As soon as he's on screen, I gravitate towards him straight away, and I'm genuinely enjoying playing with him every single second I've been playing. There's also like a bunch of other characters, but BD1 is probably the standout so far, if I'm being honest. BD1's the droid that basically accompanies you on mission to mission, and he is the sickest thing I've ever seen, mate. I want someone to make me this droid, please. I also want to quickly say, you guys and girls know, or if you subscribed anyway, which you totally should be, that I love villains. Movie villains, game villains, whatever, that's what I gravitate towards the most. If a movie or a game's got a good villain, I'm gonna like it more. And I'm telling you now, boys and girls, when you first see the second sister, who's the Inquisitor, who's hunting you, and that's not a spoiler, she's literally on the front cover of the box. She's pretty menacing, I'm not gonna lie, when she's on screen, I enjoy every second of it. Now I want to talk about the gameplay really quickly now. It's the best Star Wars game ever. I've said it multiple times already and it's crazy, mate. First of all, the force powers. I love it. It feels very, very realistic. You can do things like slow down time and stuff. Very similar to what Kylo Ren can do. Just not at that level. It's also not too over the top. And I've said that in my trailer reactions. I don't want a game that's force heavy and way over the top don't get me wrong the force unleashed is an amazing game but i want it i want a canon game which this is it's fully fully canon from disney and i've got mad respect for that so you can't have him like just pull down star destroyers with the force or any craziness like that it's very very real and it's very familiar and the force powers they're great mate next the lightsaber combat and I've said many times, this, this is definitely the best Star Wars game, but it's definitely the best lightsaber combat in any game we've ever had. I've never had so much gratification swinging a lightsaber before. It's incredible. You feel like a Jedi, you feel deadly, the walls get scarred up when you slash them with the saber. It's, it's everything I wanted, genuinely. I can't really describe it. You're only going to know like why I'm so hyped up about it unless you actually play it, which... You totally should be. I've talked about characters, gameplay, and the story. I just want to quickly touch on like the visuals and the sound. I'm currently running this game on the PS4 Pro, and the graphics are insane, mate. I, I can only imagine how good this is going to look in 4K on a PC, mate. But my favourite thing is the sound. The sound is insane, mate. We already know that EA have got Star Wars sound down to a T. Regardless of what you thought about Battlefront 1 and 2, Everyone can agree, sound-wise, it was proper Star Wars. And this game is exactly that, but even better, if I'm being honest. It's obviously got, like, bits of the soundtracks that we already know and love, but it's got a unique soundtrack to the game, and 
It feels like Star Wars is totally unique and it's really, really good. I hope this is on like download somewhere because I want to put that on my headphones right now. And the absolute last thing I'm going to say, ladies and gentlemen, and for me anyway, it's the most important thing. This is a canon game. So it's slotting into a world that we know very, very well. So it has to build off it and add to it and bring something new. And it totally does. It totally, totally does. There's a lot of new creatures, aliens, characters, and they all fit into the world we know and love so, so well. I also really like a good Easter egg. Now, if I see something that I recognise from an earlier film, I'm going to get excited, mate. And there's a lot of it, man, especially in the opening, like, few hours. You're going to see things from, like, episodes one, two, and three. And if you're a big Star Wars fan, then you're going to get blown away by it, and you, you're really going to appreciate it. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That's my opinion after six hours with Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. And as I'm sitting right now, this is the best Star Wars game I've ever played. If... If you agree with me or disagree, let me know in the comment section below. After I pump in like a lot more hours, I will make an updated video. If it sucks, there's no way it's going to. It's really hard to describe, but unless you play the game, you can't appreciate how much love's gone into it. So yeah, man, just do yourself a favour. If you're a Star Wars fan, you need to buy this game. I mean, I, I can't see any fan of Star Wars. To be honest, like... Any fan of gaming that likes this type of game, I can't see you not liking it. The combat is genuinely so good. I mean, when you start the game, you get a choice of difficulties, like one to four. I can't remember what they're called, but I know the top one's called, like, Jedi Grandmaster Difficulty. I've got mine on number three, because it says on there, like, if you're used to, like, melee combat games, then you should leave it on this. Which I am, because I play a lot of Assassin's Creed, and... I appreciate it, man. It's a very good challenge. I never feel, like, overwhelmed, should we say. But I definitely do not feel like a Jedi Master just going in there and destroying everyone. That is just not your character. So if you're going into it expecting to just kill everyone on screen super easy, then you're just out of your mind, mate, and probably best go put on... Force Unleashed. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I want to hear from you guys. If you're enjoying the game, let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to go straight back to that game now because I'm enjoying it way too much. May the Force be with you. I'll see you in the next one. Remember, you will subscribe.